Jennifer Shardlow figured it was time to evacuate when water poured through the walls and a snake swam through the kitchen. Harvey lashes Texas and Louisiana as officials warn 30,000 people will need shelter. Read more. We still had a yard at midnight, she said. Then at 5.30 this morning the water started coming up through the boards and through the walls. I was sitting on a stool with the water up to my ankles when this snake swam by me. It ended up by the stove. Shardlow, 35, huddled over a coffee in an IHOP diner along with other families who had fled homes in and around Houston, all trying to make sense of a world-rendered alien. The torrents unleashed by Hurricane Harvey, now a tropical storm, had turned the familiar unrecognizable on Monday. Furniture was floating, homes were traps, the I-45 highway was an escape route and its string of motels and diners were refuges. We haven't seen the sun in four days, said Aaron Miles, 46, a bread distributor. Alligators are coming up through the bayous, said her husband, William. You have to be careful where you sit. Hurricanes and storms are a way of life in this part of Texas, their names etched in memory. Allison, 2001, Katrina, 2005, Isaac, 2008. But this one is in a class of its own.